Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is just a quick video of um, some of the coffees that I have recently received and purchased and just a quick heads up on some of the upcoming reviews that I've got going. Um, currently I'm suffering with a really tickly cough so I cannot go more than say 30 seconds without um, turning into a fit of cough so I'll try and keep this as short as possible so first of all um, I've got a load of coffees from this company called Coffee Plant they are a coffee roaster and they have a coffee shop in the Portobello um, Road Market in um, London and they sent me five coffees and um, Really, I, I have um, tried um, a couple of them already and they are really wonderful quality coffee shop um, standard um, coffees these. So they're really fantastic. One other quick thing that I wanted to mention was that um, yesterday we um, decided to visit a shop called The Company Shop. And what the company shop is, is a um, shop where emergency workers like NHS, fire brigade, police force um, can go. And it's a sort of bargain sort of um, store. You will find a lot of the stock have got um, sort of six month um, best before dates on. But they do sell bread and that, so they do get regular supplies of um, stock from um, some places. But... Funnily enough, what we found in there was these, which are the Al Cafe um, whole beans, which at one time were my um, go-to coffee, and they don't in fact um, stock these anymore in Aldi, so I was really um, delighted to find these. Um, they were only a pound, which is very cheap, um, even cheaper than they are in Aldi, and the best before date is, um, I think that's August. Um, so it's still got quite a while to go on the best before date on those packs. So, as I say, Aldi don't stock them anymore, and they are, for the price they are, they really are a good, good um, coffee. Another one. Um, decaffeinated original blend it's not the most um, fantastic coffee but it is a decent deep strong decaf this one I think this is the one that I've reviewed um, and there we go it's got August um, best before dates on this one as well I think this, this, the shops that we've seen that they stock for it's, it's all sort of old stock and it's sort of Sainsbury's, Marks and Spencer's, Co-op, Aldi. Um, they're the ones, the, the main ones, what, we, um, what we've what we spotted um, products from in that shop. Um, but as I say, these are going in the freezer. Um, I'll put these away for the rainy day because, I, as I say, I've already reviewed these. So these will be uh, in between coffee for me so that was them another real excellent bargain which I've picked up before I cause mayhem in the kitchen oh I'll show you this one first this was um, King Ralph medium classic roast this was another one from the company shop and um, as I say the Aldi ones were a pound each this one was a little bit more expensive this one was £3.89 but it is a 500 gram bag this one um, I, I have had a, had a quick because I've never heard of this coffee before I did have a quick look at reviews online and they do say it is a little mellow um, so I'll have to try it out and see how it goes with this one but another real bargain if it turns out to be a good coffee and the best before date on this one is September so as I say, they all have quite long to go on the best before dates on, on these. Another one from the company shop, and this is the bargain of the century for, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I picked up 
three of these and I think these were the only ones they did um, after I left the shop before so I should have had a more um, detailed look at the shelf because the shelf was absolutely stacked with these these are uh, um, Praline Especial Brazil Tales of Harrogate Decaffeinated Coffee Pods and you'll never guess what the price of these was these these go I'd say between three and four pound normally in the supermarkets but in there they were selling them for 40 p a unit so um, as I say you're getting 10 pods for 40 pence that's like four pence a pod so you really cannot go wrong um, with these I would have picked up more but as you can see I did get quite a lot of coffee already from there so um, I didn't want to pick up, to be honest with you, I'd have picked up 10 boxes of these if it, if it hadn't have got any more coffee. But as I was buying other coffees, I didn't really want to go that far. The best before date on these is the 5th of 2018. So these are on the very edge of the best before date, these ones. But like I say, I... I, you couldn't say no to these really at 40 pence each um, a real real bargain and I can feel me tickly cough coming on so I'll try and rush through this last bit another one £3 in Tesco Lavazza decaf um, I've been looking to try this for a while and they have actually got it on offering as they're in Tesco at the moment at the same price which is £3 so take a look um, Keep an eye out for this one if you like Lavazza and you like decaf. And one more is one that I've had for a while now and it's these cardamom um, pods. I'm really not looking forward to um, trying these. So these have been kept in the cupboard and they'll probably go out of date before I do try them. November 2018 and it's just the cardamom that's putting me off trying them. So... Um, let me know in the comments if you're really desperate for me to review these because if it was left to me they'd probably go stale in the cupboard um, before I got the review done. So that is it. I've got other reviews already um, filmed and done so it may be a while before you see um, any of these reviews. So as I say keep an eye out for them. Um, comment if you have tried any of these coffees that I have mentioned. As I say, I've never seen this King Ralph one before, so I'll be interested to hear from anyone who's tried that one. So let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick upcoming reviews video. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. Thank you.